Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. Continuing my home tours. Super excited to uh, be bringing these back to you for 2023. Um, 680, looks a little over 680 for a basement home here in South Douglas County. You can see the community is spectacular. This one you'd be on a cul-de-sac lot. Actually corner lot too. They're wrapping up construction a little bit. You can see what a gorgeous front yard you have. A little tree buffer over there for 680. That's insane. With all this brick. I can't wait. I haven't walked it myself. You're gonna get my first opinion on it. And some of the things already that you're gonna really like. Three car garage. Brick. Heavy, heavy front door, which we'll take a look at in a second. And a wood a lot. This is going to be uh, pretty much like southwest of the city. If you've heard of areas like Chattahoochee Hills, um, Fairburn, Palmetto, and of course Douglasville, which this is what this is. You're gonna love living out here. Look at this entranceway. Tons of brick, you see the shutters. And look how heavy this door is. Look at the details. Again, this price point, insane. Let's walk in together and take a look. See what we got. Ooh, this is nice. Very nice. When you first walk in, let me show you details. The two-story uh, foyer area will be very dramatic with the wrought iron um, up the staircase, most likely. It'll either be pickets, the white pickets, or wrought iron. I'll have to double check on that. But look at this door. <laughs> look at how dramatic this, this entranceway is. It's absolutely beautiful. This is where you come in through your three car garage. So you have one over here, two over here. You see the garage door openers are included as well. You saw that great drive where you could fit probably about six cars easily. So it'll be like a, a little inlet. So you could maybe put out a bench or something like that. Dining room. Love me a set of bay windows. And that's what we have. Let me kind of show you from this angle. You can see the bay windows. I mean, just look at all the light that's coming in. You have five windows here. You're not going to have to, you know, flick on that switch. These are energy efficient features that you would expect at this price point. Also at this price point, look at the details, the details in the trim, right? Um, what I can tell you is if you see this video, you like it, I can't guarantee you, but you send me a pre-approval around that 680, 685 price point. I may be able to see if, you know, is it time still to order, you know, the hardwoods or the, the rev woods or the tile color. I can't guarantee it. I'm sure they're picking something out really nice. But that's the, the key of why it's so important when you see these videos to already be pre-approved or to go for your pre-approval right, right away. And again, this corner lot, look at all this land that you have here on the corner and in your front yard. All right, looks like it's going to be a nice, open, bright, white kitchen. You have a laundry room down here, so your dryer, washing machine, and then you have areas here for your, uh, excuse me, your uh, laundry baskets. Brain fart there. Half bath, so power the pedestal sink, toilet, and then the kitchen. Ooh, this is nice. Very, very, very nice. So you can see... What I like about it is a couple of them, well, right here, it goes up to the uh, to the ceiling. Well, look at all this cabinet space, right? So you're probably going to have granite, most likely granite or quartz, some kind of backsplash. You have an area here, which is called a kitchenette. You can line up your table right here with the, the windows. You have the island, refrigerator, dishwasher will go here. You have your sink to look out in your beautiful uh, backyard, which we'll take a look at. And again, all these countertops, you're going to have... Uh, probably, what are your, probably your gas line here. So for your gas cooktop is my guess right there. You'll have an oven and probably a microwave down there, looks like. And then you have your pantry, which will probably have three or four wire racks on both sides. You could always convert that into a, uh, to wood racks down the line. But here we go. What are people looking for if they can get it? Two-story family rooms. I can't tell you. Probably about six out of every 10, maybe seven out of every 10. A lot of people, you know, can't afford it, you know. But if you can, 
uh, this would be it. Look how dramatic this would be. Again, if we can get, see what's going down here, if it's going to be hardwoods or revwoods. That's dramatic. I love how they, I just looked at another one of their houses and I love how they give you kind of a different look to it. All these windows at the top and then the double windows, you're going to have your uh, gas fireplace. So you just flick on a switch and you can see a beautiful backyard. While I'm over here, might as well take a step out here and take a look. You know, a lot of these builders will give you a really small, like 12 by 12 or 10 by 12 deck. Look at this one. Really, really nice size. Probably, I'd say at least 14 to 16 feet across. And a lot of the builders are not giving you the staircase downstairs. But this one is. And as you can tell, it's a really, really nice uh, backyard. You can see kind of how the neighbor did it. So if you want to become really friendly with them, maybe you could even run if you like that aluminum look. You can see how they screened in their deck as as uh, well but you know you could eventually there's probably a septic tank back here but you see where that is and then if you want to put a pool the good thing about it this community has a pool it's very very quaint very small you might even see some deers back here but look at how beautiful and gorgeous this is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning in addition to that deck i can't tell you how many builders will just give you like a little little like concrete step right there look at what you can do with this you eventually want to screen it in you want to put your gas grill down here you can do that you have a, a water line here you want to wash anything off this is fantastic with a six in front of it insane beautiful 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 all right, let's go take a look at the rest of the house. Looks like we have, what do we have here? A closet, possibly? Yep, coat closet. That's always important. And then you have a bedroom with its own bathroom. Again, the details. Whoever gets this room, is this going to be a guest suite? Is this when your mom or grandma, uh, uncle stay when they come to town? Is this going to be... Your home office this is going to be where your um, school-aged child stays because you have easily be able to do a king or queen in here. You already have the TV set up for the flat screen, the double door closet, and this one has a tub shower, toilet, and another closet. That's amazing. Extra closet space in a bedroom. Beautiful. Gosh, look at that view. This must be the the basement. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's head upstairs. Nice wide staircase too. Would probably be stained as well. Hello, welcome to my beautiful home. What a landing, right? Imagine what you can do with this wall. The dramatic archway window and wow i have not seen those heavy duty doors at this price point usually that's saved for nines to well over a million dollars and then the catwalk again there's a view beautiful beautiful all right primary bedroom gigantic you say when we have consultations, right, guys, people that say, my dream scenario, my money's good, credit's good, I would love a two-story family room, I would love three or four-sided brick if I can, I love a primary bedroom with a sitting area. That's, that's usually the top three main requests. Well, this one will keep you under, under seven. Huge California, Alaskan king bed, canopy bed. Dresser, flat screen TV, but all like a little bar here if you want to. Notice the bay windows to match the dining room. So you have your sitting area. If you want to even create your own home office or beauty bar in this area, you can do that as well. Tons and tons of light. Ooh, this primary bath looks like it's going to be amazing. And it is. Couples. 
separate vanities with lots of space with your own drawers and everything. Corner tub. Soaking tub looks like. Or is this a jacuzzi tub? It might be a jacuzzi tub. I don't know. I have to look. But a corner one. It's going to have tile and stuff around it. Stand up shower with your tile in here. Right? It's like a nice little ledge here as well. Privacy door for your water closet. Couples. Closet one. Towels and linens. Closet two. And this one goes all the way down. So imagine the build out you're gonna do in there. Crazy. So we saw two bedrooms so far. Definitely does not lack for closet space and other towels and linens. And then two more bedrooms on this side. Looks like a Jack and Jill. Or is this? Yeah, I think it is a Jack and Jill. There's a doorway here. So you have your double vanity sinks. Probably lights above, mirror, toilet, tub shower again. They do these privacy doors. I come from up north originally, so we're not used to that. But yes, here in the south, especially new construction, the privacy door. Somebody's washing their face, brushing their teeth. Put your towels and linens in there. Better number three. Wow. <laughs> wow. I want to be your friend. I want to come and live with you in this one. This is like almost the size of a second master suite. You put your bed here, your dresser, flat screen TV. You could put a, a pool table in here. Seriously. I mean, I'm totally serious if you wanted to. That's how long this space is. You obviously could put a bar table, put another TV, you put a, create a whole sitting area. You could build out a bar in this area. It is a gigantic second secondary bedroom. And look how long this closet is. Goes all the way around the corner. And what a view this, this room is gonna have when you walk out every morning to see that and that backdrop. Bedroom number four, again, Amazing size to it, king or queen. Put your bed here, flat screen TV. You still have room for a love seat. And then your views out back. This was the doorway to that bathroom. And then this one has another walk-in closet. 680, guys. But that's not it. We've got a whole basement, a whole basement for you to finish down the road. We got four bedrooms with three and a half baths. You need five down the road. This might be it. Let's see if this door opens. Just got it, okay. No electricity here, so wish me luck. Wish me luck. Nice hallway too, leading down to it. Wow, look at all the space. So these are your mechanicals. You could always add drywall here so you have like stored, store your uh, Christmas trees. We just finished up Christmas season or just boxes and stuff like that. Create a whole media room over here if you want to. This would be a great for another kitchen because it's right above here. The doorway leading out to that concrete back deck. Another family room, you can make this the theater room because you have an inlet here cut out for another fireplace. So if you wanted to make that that, or you have this, you're gonna have this big wall to work with so you could create a whole like movie theater vibe experience and still have your fireplace if you want to. Bedroom and bath. So this could eventually turn into a five bedroom, four and a half bath, easily a king or queen, bathroom, sub pump, closet, and you have more storage. You want to just make a small little, like put an elliptical machine or a um, treadmill. And you have storage under the stairs here as well. And you have another closet. How about this for movie night? You create a whole like built out bar area, a little movie theater popcorn sitting on top. A little wine refrigerator or beverage center underneath. Grab it. Boom. Movie night. Fireplace. Full kitchen, or if you need a six bedroom, just drywall it from this window over here, and you could have a six bedroom.